But you brought an end to that dream. And then there's her, and her, and her over there. All of them have valid reasons for joining the competition. Regardless of how huge the risk was, they joined the martial heart for the sake of their loved ones. Every single one of their hopes and dreams shattered. All of that just because they lost to you. Miko, what's going on? What are you doing? Tell me! Why did you drag me into this if you knew all I was going to do was suffer? Because... I'll take over from here. Don't come any closer! I am not going to interfere with any of your work, so don't you dare interfere with mine! I wouldn't dream of it. For now. I just came to say, I think my heart has taken a turn. I want Aya very badly. I knew this was your plan all along. I had heard you had plastic surgery to meet with her, but I really didn't think that you'd go to such pathetic measures. Surgery? Yes. He will change his look drastically to suit the tastes of the women he wants. That's the kind of person he is. Of course. This isn't the real Haruki, just an imposter. It's no use. Surely you remember Hayakawa's strength. Now hand Aya over to me. Ayakala will not lose her grip until I ask her to, so I suggest you act quickly. Aya, please, save me. Aya, please. I can't breathe. I'm about to be killed. You have to save me. Our friends are leaving. Please, Aya, help. Please help me. Down, it's fine. You have nothing to worry about. It's not as though your interference has completely screwed up my plans or anything. You jackass! You've got to be kidding me! Don't think for a second that this is over! Besides, even if you did kill me, the committee would be after you so quick you couldn't even... Ah, oh. <sighs> oh, the look of hope on your face says it all, Aya. You think I'm a fake too? Well, I'm going to have to disappoint you. It's me, the Haruki you know and love. And here's proof. Hey, Aya! How's it going? Huh? Sorry I couldn't make it earlier. I wanted to show you my support, but you know how things get. Natsume... Why? It's not a why, exactly. More of a who. The plan came from one person. And that one person would be the idiot lying dead on the floor behind you. But he's not the only one. If you haven't guessed. We're here to take revenge on you. Uh, on me? But why? My mother's name was Yumi Kazaki. She passed away when I was four. Unfortunately, I never really got the chance to know her. But I did get to know my father, Shigeyuki Isashima. And you may have heard of him. He's also your father. <gasps> now, of course, I understand that you're too stupid to know what that means, so I prepared an explanation. Your father passed away. That was 15 years ago. I'm sure you've always carried that burden with you. Of course. You were always told his cause of death was a traffic accident, right? The truth is, he was abusive towards my mother, and they both died together in a fight. It happened right in front of me. I had to watch this scene when I was four years old. Our father had a horrible temper. It didn't take much at all to set him off. Women upset him the most. They would always cause him to lose his cool. And one of the many number of times that this happened was on my fourth birthday. My mother shielded me from that bastard, trying to protect me. But he was afraid she was going to call the police, so he stabbed her. He did it right in front of me, and there was nothing I could do to stop him. You're lying! That never happened, and you know it didn't! My father was a wonderful man! He was always kind and genuine! He would never hurt anyone! Why would I lie about something like that? And how the hell would you know? You don't understand! You're not the one who's been haunted by the same nightmare for 15 years! So don't give me that! I've hated that man and your entire family my whole life! Can you imagine what living with that kind of heartache feels like? There now. It's alright, sweetheart. No way! That's right. My brother and Nico have been together for a while, long before we ever met you. It was funny. You know, watching how mesmerized you were by the sight of my brother. 
and he never asked you out no matter how much you'd flirt. I couldn't tell if you were innocent, naive, or just retarded. It was so pathetic. <laughs> I'm not done talking to you yet, because the person who started this entire martial heart business more than 20 years ago is none other than the scumbag father you love so much, which means he's responsible for the same crimes we are. All you have to do is pass this test and all of your dreams will come true. He used to say this to lure the girls into fighting. He forgot to tell them that they'd be sold off as slaves if they lost. Miko's mother, Yumi Kazuki and her sister Kumi were also innocent victims of this horrible deception. Kumi's my mom. And there's someone else. The one who has emerged as the most victorious in all of this is... Suzuko Isashima, your mother. I had no idea she was so strong. She's an amazing martial artist, but her true ability is her heartlessness. Indeed. And because she had a partnership with your father, she had the ability to manipulate all of the battle scenes. She initiated a battle with my mother Yumi and my aunt Kumi. She fought them at the same time, giving her the handicap. She handled them very well, using their sisterly love against them to win. Actually, it's pretty similar to what you did. <laughs> Funny how disposable people really are, isn't it? After the two of them lost, the elder sister Yumi was forced to become Shigeyuki's mistress. The younger sister was muted and then sold overseas to an older wealthy man. All of this was arranged by your mother. Eventually, the two women caught on to what was happening, and Kumi was able to escape and avoid being sold. However, she would never be able to speak again. But Haruki and I were still able to hear this horrible story from our mother several years ago when we were little. She would tell us in sign language, or sometimes by writing it down. So sad. I've wanted revenge my whole life. It became my reason for living. All I wanted was to find them. Suzuko Isashima and her evil hellspawn of a daughter. Finally, one day, I met Natsume. That day, everything finally fell into place. We discovered that all our anguish had come from the same source. We decided to get the martial heart together once again so that we could get you to join. We wanted to give you the gift of experiencing the heartless creation of cruelty that your parents dreamed of. And when it's all over, you will be responsible for your sins as well as the sins of your parents. Arrogance and evil flow all throughout your body, no matter how hard you try to hide it. Luckily, the psychic was able to expose all that at Yokohama. I wasn't looking forward to having to prove it to you. You realize there's nothing you can do about it, right? The blood of those two monsters is flowing within you. It's who you are. Unfortunately, I have the blood of one of them running in me as well. I live with the feeling of self-loathing every day because of it. You're different from them. You're actually just incredibly stupid. We hung out all of the time. How is it that you never noticed any of this? How else would anyone know where you were or what you were doing at every moment of the day? What an idiot! So is that it? Is that the reason? That's why you made friends with me? Tell me. Look who caught on! I bet the one thing you never knew was that my only desire was to kill you. You have no idea how much it made me want to puke pretending to be friends with you. Believe me, I completely understand what that's like. Smiling at her made my stomach turn too. And as for all of this crap, it's a microphone as well as a monitoring device. It would be pretty heartless of me to leave all of that work to Natsume. It was hard pretending to be friends, but I just kept thinking that one day we'd be here and it'd all be worth it. That's for you. Go ahead and use it. You're not too embarrassed to kill yourself in front of us, are you? We'll take it and send it to your mom. Don't worry. After you're gone, we'll make sure your mother is following right behind you. Hurry up. Let's get this thing started. That is, of course, if you have even a shred of decency or humanity somewhere inside you. Why? Why me? Why should I be the one to die?
<laughs> That's really mean, Aya. We just told you the truth about the evil that is within you, and yet you're still feeling sorry for yourself. <sighs> Playing the victim as always. Not like we didn't expect that. We should be using our own hands to kill you. That way we can taste your blood as it oozes out. Sure, you can retaliate if you'd like. Judging from your past, three of us at once will be no problem for you. Conjure up that crazy strength, and I bet you could hold your own for quite a while. I mean, I never thought you'd kill that lady. <sighs> What now? Why are you crying? You were just about to kill us, right? Those tears aren't gonna help! We know who you are! Ah! Oh, please. You think that's painful? You look like a dying frog! Oh, just calm down. You're not dead yet. We wouldn't let you off that easy. She's right. My vote is we use a knife to cut off all your fingers. Or maybe we should cut out her eyes. Or maybe we'll slit her throat so she can never talk again like my mom. What's happening? I don't know. Why aren't the sprinklers turned on? Because the fire extinguishing system is broken. What? Who said that? Susuko Isashima? What is she doing here? Initially, I didn't want to interfere too much with what Aya was doing. That was a mistake. You've surprised me, Natsume. I would never have guessed you were the daughter of Kuni. And I never thought you'd come begging for death. I'm used to your selfish decisions, but this is doing us a favor. My daughter's in trouble, and I cannot just stand by. If you want to talk about selfish, you should take a look at your own mother, sending her children to gain revenge. You will not talk about my mother like that! Maruki! Here's something that I'm sure none of you know anything about. I know it's hard, but try to understand what you're about to hear. Those sacrifices were not made for our amusement. What do you mean? Stop denying the truth! Both my husband and my parents were killed by Kumi and Yumi's father. You see, it was your grandfather who killed all of them. <gasps> Liar! That's impossible! This is all a result of the countless amounts of times we were trying to run away from destiny. All of you, Aya, and me. Think that all your sins are justified because of this, you bitch! Believe me, I don't. Damn you! Thank you, Mom. I'm really sorry, Aya. Forgive me. I never intended for you to find out the truth about your father and me. All I wanted was a normal life for you, free of vengeance and fighting. No one should have to endure all that you have, especially at this time in your life. However, it was always destiny. There was nothing we could have done. Let's go. I promise, I'll leave you to your own decisions. From now on, you'll walk your own path. And I'll walk mine by paying for your sins. Well, Marshal Hart, there goes her last descendant. She has such good intentions. Or maybe not. It looks like the crystal is not yet complete after all.